The following was posted by user named Medusa on August 31st, 2016. She has given permission for it to be reproduced here. Resentment can appear in your life at any time. It is how you perceive what someone has said or done to you, or what you think they have said or done to you. Resentment is mostly internalized and can have an emotional effect on yourself in the future, but does not have any effect on the person being resented. I've actually found that what I'm resentful about has nothing whatsoever to do with me personally. It is just how things happen. I just need to focus on my own life and do things for myself. I find I'm focusing on what the other person is doing, consequently shortchanging myself. What other people do and think is really none of my business. I'm learning there are certain things I can do to stop myself feeling resentful. 1. Wait for people to ask. 2. Keep my mouth shut and don't offer advice or pass judgment. 3. Listen to what people have to say as they may be just thinking aloud. 4. And of course, remember to remind myself that it is really none of my business. People may just be using me as a sounding board to clarify their own thinking. Psychologist James J. Messina recommends five steps to facing and resolving resentful feelings. Step 1. Identify the source of the resentful feelings and what it is the person did to evoke these feelings. Step 2. Develop a new way of looking at my past, present and future life, including how resentment has affected my life and how letting go of resentment can improve the future. Step 3. Write a letter to the source of the resentment, listing offences and explaining the circumstances. Then forgive and let go of the offences, but do not send the letter. Step 4. Visualize a future without the negative impact of resentment. And Step 5. If resentful feelings still linger, return to Step 1 and begin again. Being resentful can turn to bitterness and it can become so powerful that post-traumatic embitterment disorder PTED, can occur. PTED is a proposed disorder modelled after post-traumatic stress disorder. Some psychiatrists are proposing this is a mental disorder because they believe there are people who have become so bitter they can barely function. I'll finish with a quote from the American actress Alana Stewart. Bitterness and resentment only hurt one person, and it's not the person we're resenting, it's us.